Ron Johnson video vlogs. First time tuning in, my name is Ron Johnson. And what I do is I help high performers that are facing burnout to create the life they want or the fulfilling dreams. And again, another great shirt, perfect, perfect, because if you think you're perfect, nine times out of 10 or 10 times out of 10, no one is perfect, but you are perfect the way you are. So welcome again. So today's topic is, let's discuss one thing I've been talking about is, and my biggest thing is relationships, and relationships with yourself and people, but today is fear relationship. And we always wanna avoid this subject and, and we gotta bring it to light. When you date somebody or you're in a romantic relationship, married, um, if you're uh, meeting from someone for the first time, you've been in a long-term relationship, you're living together, whatever it may be, a relationship with someone, you're emotionally vulnerable for. And I want us to always bring to light the fact that I don't care who you are, you are fearful of something. And we don't bring to light because inherently we have to be vulnerable and face our own personal insecurities. So let's talk about fear. What do you actually fear? Let's talk about my fears. You now, being engaged and we're, we're gonna get married soon, I have my own fears too. My fear is that she may leave me one day. That my fear is that she may cheat me one day. My fear is that if we don't get to the same economic level, that I may not be worthy of her love. Now let's face that reality. That is a fear. That is my personal fears and that's what it is. Now what are your fears? Your fears can be, the person may not like me. The person may not find me attractive. I may gain some weight, they may not like me anymore. What if I change my job and I lose the financial stability we have? The fear is they may leave me and find someone else is better. One time I was dating somebody, they told me to my face, which I talked about before, hey Ron, you know, if you know, what do you have to offer me? There's so many guys out there that are millionaires that want me something. And I wanted her so bad that I just shrunk down in my own fear because I wanted her and that was my fear. My fear was if I can't support her financially, support her financially, that I won't feel worthy and she had a soft button of mine. So what we need to do is we need to acknowledge our own fears. And better yet, if you're vulnerable enough and secure, you can discuss it with your significant other and say, look, these are my fears. And nine times out of 10, they'll say, well, it's not true. And it probably really is not true. They really are not gonna leave you if X, Y, Z happens. But the reason why you wanna discuss them is what you resist will persist. If you're resisting this fear of these feelings and not discussing it with somebody like a therapist, a psychologist, or even your significant other, they will show up. They can show up in, in certain emails you read. They can be show up in certain texts you read. They can show up in misinterpreting things that are happening in your relationship because you need to discuss them. Fears are, are really true and they do exist. Even though you beat one fear, a new level of fear is waiting for you. I beat that second fear, a third fear is waiting for you. Fear only creates a new level of fear and that's reality. But you need to sit with it. You realize it's okay. And the emotions you have are completely normal. Don't forget, perfectly and perfect. So if you want to learn more about how to create better relationships with yourself, relationships with people, I want you to go to www.ronjacksoncoaching.com and let's talk. Let's see where you are. Because I know you're a high performer and you want to live a better relationship with yourself and with others. And again, always, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And thanks for listening.